A crime alert now in Seminole County. An arrest has been made in a deadly stabbing of a high school student. The teen was stabbed to death during an attempted robbery at a Samford apartment complex. News 6's Nadine Yanis joins us now live from the Seminole County Jail. And Nadine, police say the teen victim tried to rob the now murder suspect of his drugs. That's right, and that is what makes this case so interesting. At that murder suspect's first appearance today, his public defender says that since police say it was that teen victim and his friends who came with the intent to rob him, that his client should not be charged with murder. Now, no word on what exactly happened or if they plan to go forward with a self-defense case, but it looks like that the public defender's argument is working because within the last hour, that murder suspect's charges have been reduced. You've been charged with the offense of uh First-degree felony murder. In a yellow jumpsuit, 20-year-old Justin Seal stands before a judge, initially facing first-degree murder charges and the stabbing death of 16-year-old Caleb Rabin. An arrest Sanford police were happy to announce this morning. Our investigators worked through the night on this case, and we are relieved to be able to let the community know this morning that we have the suspect in custody. Police say yesterday afternoon at the Stonebrook Apartments, the victim and his two friends met Seal with the intent to rob him and his drugs. When Caleb entered Mr. Seal's vehicle, apparently there was some type of altercation that occurred inside the vehicle. When Caleb exited the vehicle, uh, he was suffering from a stab wound to his chest area. What exactly happened in that car is what Sanford detectives are investigating as we speak. But as it stands now, Seal's public defender argued that there's just not enough evidence for an arrest. I, I've read this affidavit, and uh, I'll tell you, I'm looking at it. And I see three kids who got together, well, admittedly, to rob the defendant. And during the course of robbing the defendant, one of the thieves gets stabbed and gets killed. I don't see anything in this report that the other two thieves say who did it, how it was done, or what it was done with. And so it looked like that public defender's argument worked because Seal's first degree murder charge has now been reduced to a third degree felony murder charge, meaning he's granted a $15,000 bond. That's not a lot. So we're waiting to see if he walks out of these doors here in Seminole County. Until then, we're going to go to Seminole County High School where grief counselors were there for victim Caleb Raven today. Live in Seminole County, Nadine Giannis, News 6. Nadine, thank you.